Hi everyone, I'm back. It's been a week and I was trying to think of something to share with you guys. I told you we're going to talk about scissors, um, just mainly because I love scissors, no special thing about the scissors. But I was trying to think of something um, to show you how to make and I had a couple questions this week about um, this banner, the, these little, uh, I don't know what you call them, swags, banners, whatever. Um, I made a lot of them and a lot, I know a lot of people online have made them too, but I was going to show you how to do that. I thought that might be fun. So what I'm going to do is take, uh, this is a, a try tool and you could really, excuse me, you could really use any, um, any rectangle, any size you want. You can do small little ones, which I have that end up being two and a half inches. Uh, I'm going to use a charm pack. So this one's going to be about, uh, four and a half. We're going to go to the four and a half line and I'm going to use the sugar pie charm packs. No special reason, but other than it's pretty. So what you do is you take your pencil and you could do this with a rotary cutter too. I'm just not going to cut on here because I don't want to cut my hand off. But what you do is I'll do it this way. You're going to line it up so that the top of it, this kind of will dictate at what size you can make the banner. Um, so I'm going to cut on the four and a half inch line and you could cut that with your rotary cutter and cut a bunch of them at once if you want but this is the way I'm going to do it is mark it so that I know what it is and it doesn't even have to be exact you could do it however you know scissors cut it fast um, I do one on the back too you could use whatever fabric you want on the back you could use scrap fabric it, it doesn't really show this one has got the same color on the back but I mean, really, if you're just going to hang it in your house on the wall, it, you don't have to use your good fabric on the back. Just use white or whatever else you want. So I'm going to take my scissors, scissors, and cut on the line. And again, you would probably do this with your rotary cutter, but you could also do it with pinking shears. And there's a pinking shear uh, rotary cutter blade that you can get, which is really nice. I've never really liked pinking shears, scissors, because I never felt like they were sharp enough to cut. Um, I don't know about you if there's a brand you like, but I don't really like them. So you cut this. I'm going to cut another one in a coordinating color. Skyler. Hi, baby. Okay, so again, you're going to lay it down on here and you're going to cut on the, this would be the, this would be the four and a half inch line. Uh, just because I can't, I mean, I don't really want to go up to the five. You can, but we're going to do four and a half. So see how I have it on this and up to here? And you could just do this and draw all the way up to the top if you want, but I'm going to do it exactly like the ruler. Okay, see my line on there? Okay. And now I'm going to cut that out. And then, like I said, I'm not going to be precise. Just going to cut as close to the <coughs> line as you can. Okay, so then I would lay them down. Look how pretty those are together. And, and I would do a whole bunch of them. And there would be two, a back, remember? You could use anything for your back. So let's say this is just a plain white back. I put them right sides together, like this. And then I use um, Rick Rack. You could use the jumbo or you could use the small, whatever. I'm gonna use small because this is kind of small, but on this one I used the big uh, jumbo size to attach those, but they're a quite a bit bigger. So I'm going to figure like how much of this I want to go in the place I'm using it. So if the place, you know, is let's say this big from here to where I'm going to hang it, I would cut this and I'm going to cut it because I think I might go ahead and just make one of these. Cut your brick rack. And then you're going to just start spacing them out where you want them. So leave a tail so that you can hang it um, somewhere. And then I put it right here. Remember, I have my back. You can sew like this, or you can go here, here, and here. That way your back is attached. Instead of wasting time just sewing all these and then sewing, just do it all at once. Just sew like this, this, and this, and you're done. And then you lay your next one at the same um, space. Now I'm gonna flip this. Like, let's say it was like that. And I give it a little bit of space in there and do the same thing and sew. And just keep on going until you have as many as you want. And that's how you do the banner. I hope that made sense. Um, okay, so next thing is 
Don't get so close. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good day of my hair. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show is just some scissors real fast. I have a lot of scissors in my Etsy store. Um, some of these may not be in there. I don't know because I kind of don't really keep up with my inventory too well. So I'm going to just show you a couple that I have added recently. These, I showed you these last time. These are just little nippers, which I like. These are pretty sharp. They have a little tiny edge on them. A lot of you have bought these little scissors. They're really inexpensive, but they're sharp. This has been the most popular, I think, is the ice cream swirl one. It comes in red. Red. Um, these I like. They're kind of expensive, but they're from Bone. And they are um, they come in different colors. I, ha I did have red, which I'll get back in, but I have purple and blue. And there's a smaller version of them, too. These are heavy, and these are nice scissors. Um, these are all the little bitty ones that I actually need to put back in my shop because I used to carry a ton of them. But... And these really they're just kind of for cute look they don't really cut so if you see these out there and you want them to be cute in your sewing room that's a good thing but as far as using them I don't feel like they cut too well so that's an honest thing there nippers I have a lot of nippers they, these come in several colors they're really sharp what can't see oh you can't see them well they're kind of hard to see but they come in a few colors these little things are the ones that you put on the end of your scissors, little leather sheaths, and they cover the tip of your scissors. So if you're traveling somewhere and you don't want them to stab through uh, your bag, you can use these. And there's a lot of different colors. And again, I think I need to update and put these on my Etsy shop. Okay, gingers, you know I carry gingers. I always get the newest one. I don't know if you know, but they they come out with a designer one every year. And uh, there's another new one coming in September. And I think it's polka dots. I can't remember, but um, I think it is. So I'll have those ordered. Actually, I already do have them ordered, but they don't ship until September. So be looking for those in my Etsy store and you can pre-order them. Okay, so I don't want to make this too long because last time I think I made it too long. Oh gosh, am I? Oh, okay. So I was doing, a, um, trying to get a name of my, for my little whatever this is called. And I can, I have three that you guys suggested that I really like, and I'm still looking for suggestions. So leave the message on my, um, my Instagram page when I post that I've already done this video tonight. And uh, one person can win a, a Fat Quarter bundle. And also, if you um, want to enter tonight, I'm going to give away a pair of scissors. So leave me a little comment about my video uh, on Instagram or and also on um subscribing to my channel. I still don't know how many subscribers I have because I don't know how to figure that out. If you can help me, I'd appreciate it. So the names that I like so far are Up Close at the Cottage. That's a good one. Daisy's Cottage Schoolhouse. I like it. And Sewing with Miss Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So these are three choices that I like. These are in the top uh, in the running so if you think of something else let me know because I think next time I'm going to pick on next Monday a winner um, and have you vote actually on the, the five or six that I choose okay so that's it and I'll see you next Monday bye